on the issue of Social Security. In 18 years, when the Social Security trust funds run out of money, you'll be 76. The Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget estimates your benefits could be cut by as much as $7,500 per year. What would your administration do to prevent this cut? First, we're going to protect Social Security, which was one of the greatest programs that the American government has ever done. It happened at a time when you would work your whole life, your whole life, raising your kids, working, being a little league coach or a Sunday school teacher, and then you would retire into poverty. And Social Security has enabled people to retire with dignity and overwhelmingly not be in poverty. We have to keep it solvent, and we will keep it solvent. And we'll look for strategies like adjusting the payroll tax cap upward in order to do that. Here's what Hillary and I will not do, and I want to make this very plain. We will never, ever engage in a risky scheme to privatize Social Security. Donald Trump wrote a book, and he said Social Security is a Ponzi scheme, and privatization would be good for all of us. And when Congressman Pence was in Congress, he was the chief cheerleader for the privatization of Social Security. Even after President Bush stopped pushing for it, uh, Congressman Pence kept pushing for it. We're going to stand up against efforts to privatize Social Security, and we'll look for ways to keep it solvent going forward, focusing primarily on the payroll tax cap. Governor Pence, I'll give you an opportunity to respond. Well, uh, thanks, Elaine. Uh, there they go again. Okay. Do all Donald, go, Trump, go all read Donald the book. Trump and I have said about Social Security is we're going to meet our obligations to our seniors. That's it. Go read the book. We've said we're going to meet the obligations of Medicare. Uh, that, that's what this campaign is really about, Senator. And I get this is this is the old scare tactic that but, they roll but, out. Scare but you the have a voting record, and, Governor. And I get all of that. I, I, I just look. I, 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 there's a question that you asked a little I bit earlier. I can't believe that, that you won't defend to. your own voting record. I have to go back to. Well, we I, it, well, look, I'm, I'm, you're running with Hillary Clinton, who wants to raise taxes by a trillion dollars, increase spending by two trillion dollars. And you say you're going to keep the promises of Social Security. Donald Trump and I are going to cut taxes. We're going to you're, we're going to we're going to cut taxes. You're going to raise taxes so on the middle class. So we can meet the obligations of Social Security and Medicare. All right. If we stay on the path that your party has us on, we're going to be in a in in a mountain range of debt, and we're going to face hard choices. Yeah, and gentlemen, I, I want to ask, move on. You did on ask now. this question about debt, and the debt explosion on the Trump plan is much much bigger than anything on the Clinton side. Uh